So they got some Legos in here. The cushions. Yeah, take these cushions. All right, here we go. stuff in here let me see what the heck is this I'm about to get these checked just in case <laughs> you never know light bulbs All sorts of stuff in here. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get all this stuff, guys. I'm gonna take some of it. Let's see. It's way, way too early for Christmas. Way too early for Christmas. Blower. Got this guy right here. Motorcycle, maybe. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, I think it's a part to like a dirt bike or something. I don't think I want any of that though. Uh, a lot of people showing up over here. Get this stuff right here. And um, if these guys take off. <laughs> Give me some time to pick over here without being in the light. Can y'all see? Made a little adjustment there. Just in case y'all couldn't see. Man, there's just a bunch of stuff in here that I'm not really wanted to get it to yeah I really want to get into all this guys leave that alone all right on to the next one I saw this pegboard I thought I need a pegboard. Well, there's a couple of them too. June bugs, you'll see that. They fly around like crazy. Now it's not June yet, but here we are getting them. Okay. I can lay these down without making a big noise. Bad, not bad. Some, some dolls or something in there. Take a look at this, see what we got. Looks like some dolls. Hmm. 
looks like it's antique, but it's not. But um, I think it's a good little project piece for somebody. These are really good, but man, you gotta have the shelves. Go ahead and take these like that and uh maybe if we get these sold someone will come up with their own shelves well not shelves but little little bins that slide into here We found some pretty decent stuff in here this time. I'll take all of this, a little storage stuff. Good stuff, actually. Let's see. All this yard art is great. See if I can pick this whole thing up. Let me get this first. Got this guy here. Got the bunny. Oh, let's see. That's too flimsy. We'll lay it down. Oh man, that tail already broke. Here is this over. It will slide this back over here. Alright guys, so I just pulled up to this house and um looked like the like a bunch of uh recycling but then there was this thing here and uh basically looks like a bunch of gauze and medical stuff so I'm gonna take it see if uh it's worth keeping uh not hundred percent sure but we're gonna check it out. There's at least uh, a good bend out of it. And um, there's also this bend that had some some nicer um, Christmas stuff. Like some nice stockings and stuff like that. Well, look at this here, guys. We came across a good little pile of that. Um, Check this first. Oh, it looks like that's 
nothing but junk there but we got these two well it's like this what pressure cooker pressure cooker I guess or something or the other uh, we'll put this in the back here so it doesn't fly around we got this nice teeter-totter thing whatever is a good one but I got another cuisine art blender looks to be good and I'm just surprised guys that um, that this stuff's still sitting out I mean it's a little bit later in the evening but um I guess the usuals did not come to this area which is good for me oh yeah that's good See, there's a way I think that you could lock this in place. Well, okay, he goes like this. And I want to say this guy here. It's going to connect somewhere over here. Well, let me figure this out, guys. We'll get all this loaded up. And I will get back to you in a minute. All right, to add to the pile here, uh, just FYI, guys, I didn't take that one. It's like a trundle bed or some kind of like fold-out bed um, because some of the slats were broken on it. And plus it's a bed. I don't want to deal with possible you know bugs or whatever you kind of have to be careful with that stuff with the um like those recliners too but they're leather you know they'll wipe down a lot easier uh versus uh you know um that one bed they can hide everywhere in that mattress but anywho it's been a pretty good night so far and man hopefully uh it picks up some more because uh good start so far This is an interesting piece right here. It's like a, kind of like a portable, uh, what you're gonna call it, a, a portable treadmill of sorts. It's called a walking pad. It's pretty heavy. this this and this go with it okay there's like some art in here so Go in there. There's also some trash, but we'll deal with the trash. All right, it's loading up. Oh. Well, this can be reupholstered. like that's all it's needing so we'll take this a little bit of repulsory should take care of that I'm not gonna take that chair but I'll take these wall decor used outside all right what's going on guys so 
it's been a long time been a long time since you guys seen the new video i know looking at about three months uh this video is gonna be a little bit different than what you guys normally see because the stuff that i'm about to show you guys right now the video you just finished watching just now was uh stuff that i picked up about three months ago in the early march before i started uh my project i was able to squeeze in one last pick i thought i was gonna be able to get back over here and do a recap but i was just way too busy i didn't really have any chance to do it working about two and a half months straight nights uh told 13 days on the one day off it's it was just it was a lot so if i miss some things um, i'm sorry forgive me i'm doing i'm gonna do my best to get everything captured in this video uh but we'll see um i've got a lot of stuff to work through um a lot of stuff i just i mean i mean here we are guys i mean a lot of stuff that i need to get through all right if you see that stuff over there that's the stuff that i picked up last night uh you'll see that video next week and hopefully from here on out more consistency and i get these videos out but without further ado let's get this camera turned around and let's see what we found all right so as we start going through this stuff here i'm gonna try to take pictures and get stuff listed but so you got these two little recliners they're actually in decent shape need to be wiped down because they've been sitting here for a long time but they recline out and come back in really nicely um, these aren't like for a big guy you know big comfy recliner this is more for like you know something to throw in the man cave in the game room you know so they're, they're nice but they're not you know they're not lazy boy nice uh, you had this bag full of toys this is a bunch of barbie stuff in here that's all going to get donated you had this bag with some wall decor some pictures you know all that's gonna get donated I'm not keeping none of that I'm, I'm gonna have to take the pictures out because there's trash in there too uh, you have these shelves they're the stair step shelves and they, they got the baskets that will slide in there they're from Ikea so I'm gonna see if I can sell just the shelves by themselves and um well I mean we'll go from there you got this real cute little uh, stool bench thing little bench for like a vanity uh, it is peeling so whoever gets this is gonna have to reupholster this but you know that's that's a real easy job just take off some screws move this bolts here on the corners and uh, you can reupholster that uh, fairly easily uh, let's see what else do we've got here we got these pillows I'm gonna donate these I'm not gonna keep any of these pillows they're like little throw pillows this one here is there is always something to be thankful for so it looks like these are going to be for the fall the same with these i think these are going to be for the fall as well um i've asked iris if she likes this kind of stuff and she really doesn't like having a bunch of pillows on the couches so i end up just donating all these whenever i get a hold of them uh what else did we have i got some stuff back over here this was a bunch of christmas decorations i think that was there too I'm gonna move some of the stuff out the way so I can get to some of these things because I know there's stuff back there that I need to see. But yeah, guys, it was a pretty good night. We did find a lot of good stuff. If, now that I'm, my recollection is coming back to me, I remember finding all this different, um, you know, you got Easter dec decorations, you got this nativity scene, you got these pegboards, and there's more stuff over there. I just need to move some stuff around. So let me move a little bit of the stuff around and see what we can get to. Over here real quick so i do remember these now this is some more decor these are metal i'll have to go through this bag because i have no idea what was in that bag so i'll go through the bag and see what's in there and as i'm going i'm gonna start loading stuff up with the truck to take it to forgotten angels and i get some stuff donated there's some stuff from the booth that i just didn't want to sell that i've just been sitting for a long time that's going to go there's a box of shoes and be a box of clothes a box of electronics and home decor uh we're going to hook them up today they're going to let us get a lot of stuff sent over there All right, guys. Well, to my surprise, there was actually some cool stuff in here. You've got this Presto uh, stirring popper. This is for popcorn. Um, and what was cool is that in that was this brand new sealed all-in-one popcorn kit. Now, it's good through 2025. So, I mean, this is pretty neat. You put the popcorn in there, the kernels. You got the butter, whatever that's in there get it going and you get your popcorn going this was in here this is from like amazon i guess it's a little ashtray it's an outdoor ashtray and uh basically just tap it and ashes go in there and you keep your stuff in there 
that was kind of neat you got this ameritex uh it's like a, a blanket for a bed uh for a dog it's like a cover it's like a fabric but it's like a you know you put it on your bed you put it on your couch it's a cover them for them not to scratch it up or for you know the fur and all the stuff to stay on this I'm not sure what the size is on it it's not marked but um it looks to be pretty big so those are about 20 25 dollars 30 to buck dollars depending on what size they are you got this was it em em poo huh I am poo. <laughs> That's just a weird name. So this is a concealed gun holster, uh, brand new. It's like a, a waist. It goes around your waist there, and uh, yeah, you just conceal whatever you're carrying. And this is up to for a size men, 40 inch. And then you have this guy here. This is uh, a magnet. Looks like you could put this maybe like under the table. And if you want to, you know, put your gun and have it magnetized and stuck to the bottom of a table or something like that, that's what this is for. It's a pretty strong magnet. You know, it's, yeah, so it's pretty good. Looks like that. I think that's what that's for. So you got those things there. Uh, what else? That was it. Uh, the rest of the stuff in there was trash. So the decor that was in there is actually kind of nice. You got these uh, kind of antique looking maps. They're printed, obviously, but you got one of Europe. Then you've got one of North America. Pretty neat looking. And then you got these old paintings here. Looks like, I don't know where that would be. Paris, maybe. So you got that one. Oh, yeah, probably Paris. Let me see. Let me show you all something. Sometimes these go together. Sometimes they don't. No. Not necessarily, but it looks like it could go together. Maybe Italy. I don't know, guys, but it's... Ooh, almost lost that one. But they are painted uh, with oil. Oil paintings are real nice. And um, I'm, I don't know. I might try to list those. They look pretty nice. And over here, you got a bunch of stockings. Like, these are really nice stockings. You got one, two, three, four, five. So you got five of these. These are really nice. Usually I don't pick up Christmas stuff, but these were super nice. You've got this one here. You've got, looks like a tree skirt and some other stuff. These decorations, these are nice. Uh, I'm going to have Iris look at this, see if she wants any of this stuff, and then we'll go from there. I don't want to donate these quite yet. All right, so I was able to make some room back here. Hopefully I can get this stuff to fit in here nice and neat because uh, I'd like to drive around tonight if that's gonna happen i'm not sure but here is the teeter totter i think that's what it's called a teeter or a kind of uh inversion table it's pretty solid it looks like it's been really really good condition i almost want to use this for myself but i really don't have any place to put it but it's good to stretch out your back you get in here you you, you get inverted and you hang by your ankles by these supports and this helps kind of stretch out your back to decompress your spine Supposed to be really really good people that use it swear by it i've uh, never used it but i mean it looks to be really nice um like i said guys i did make some room i was able to kind of put stuff together kind of i just had stuff in the back over here just anyways kind of, any, any kind of way i really wasn't focused on making too much room because this was a long time ago but and then putting some boxes up top that are empty a lot of these boxes are empty these are all the shelves that i have left over from the storage unit i need to get these listed and sold I'm gonna sell some of these carts. I'm gonna keep this one right here because it's not only it works as a dolly, but it also makes like a cart where it's on four wheels. Um, what is this? An empty bin, another empty bin. So these empty bins are just kind of been sticking here. Oh yeah, so you had this little table. I'll probably donate this because I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, here is this. I'm going to have to plug this in. This is a, uh, like a treadmill, but it's kind of neat because it's it just, you know, it doesn't have the big thing. It's just like a walking platform, which is kind of cool. Here's all the, here's the, the piece for the uh, nativity scene. Um, St. Patrick's Day stuff. I'm going to try to get this stuff listed um, ASAP to get this stuff moving. It looks like that's going to be trash. And guys, I really think that does it over here. 
I didn't see anything else. There's the, uh, I showed you the art. Of course, you guys saw the recliners. There's the pegboards there. Um, I think that does it, guys. I think that does it. I have uh, quite a work, bit of work to do. I got to get all this stuff back in here. So that's going to be some work. Uh, so far, I do have a few boxes to take to uh, Forgotten Angels. Let me show you guys what I got working here. So we got some appliances there, small appliances, some shoes, some clothes, toys, sporting goods. I'm going to take this thing here because I don't even know anything about those and who's going to snowboard here. But a bunch of stuff in there. It's all good stuff. Um, I would have donated this table, but it's broken, and they're not going to take anything that's broken. These CDs, I'll list myself. Uh, I'll probably take that also. Yeah, I'm probably going to take that. Um, get that listed, get all this stuff listed, and then I'm going to make room over here. Um, they don't really take a lot of big furniture that's not complete. Like, I would take this for them, but they won't take it. If it don't have the bins, they won't take it, and it's not. It's going to kind of be a waste. They won't take that bench either because it needs to be reupholstered. So I'll just, like I said, I'll sell that for like five bucks. Uh, they will take this small table. It's small enough. It's cute enough to where, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be able to do something with it. Oh, goodness. Well, I got the work cut out from you guys. I'm going to plug that in. I'll let you guys know if it works or not. Um, I might put some pictures up so you guys get an idea of what kind of stuff is in here. Just so you guys can look at it. And I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Well, guys, it's great to be back. Um, finally get to do this uh, picking again. I know you guys, I've gotten a lot of messages, a lot of uh, comments saying that you guys miss me, that I haven't been here, and it's been going on three months, guys, so I was able to put some videos out that I had kind of stacked up, and um, I just want to say thank you for y'all for hanging out with me, for watching this. Some of you guys went back and watched some of the old videos, some of you guys have uh, just been waiting around, but either way, for those who are back and watching this video, thank you so much for hanging out, thank you so much for waiting and being patient with me. All right, guys, with that being said, uh, we'll close it out. Uh, Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for just your many blessings. I ask that you continue to watch over our families, watch over our loved ones, watch over our friends, Father, that you bless us with good health, uh, bless us in all the areas in our life that we need, Father. Uh, for those who are struggling with just illnesses and sickness, uh, mental issues, Father, that they're, you know, with, you know, any, anything, Father, depression, uh, anxiety, that you just strip that away from them, Father, and you replace it with your peace. Father, I ask that you would touch the hearts and the souls of the people who are watching, Father, that they see this video and that they get a seed planted in their heart, Father, that they'd want to pick up their Bible, that they'd want to uh, watch a podcast. Do something, Father, to, you know, get to know you, to hear your word and get to know you better, Father, uh, that they'd want to build a relationship with you and that, uh, yeah, Father, that you just touch their hearts, Lord, that they just want to get to know you, that they, that they want to warm up to you, Father, that they want to accept you. We all know that we all go through different things, Father. We all just struggle with things at times, and uh, it's a lot easier to get through life, Father, with, with knowing that you are with us and guiding our steps every step of the way. Father, I ask that you continue to watch our families, Father, that you would put a hedge of protection around our loved ones as they go throughout their day. Uh, Father, I ask you continue to bless us with good health, bless us financially, bless our marriages, and all the good things that we ask for. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff we're asking you to do on YouTube. Until next time, peace, love you, and God bless. See ya.